boys makes me catch my breath down here in Arkansas is just the vast expanse of land. Now this morning as I'm driving to where I'm going, which is the Spring River, which is right up on the northern Arkansas-Missouri border, I've seen thousands upon thousands of snow geese, Canadian geese, the migratory path across the Midwest and Mid-South is second to none in the United States and you're liable to see just hundreds of species Now the songbirds have already pretty much gotten where they need to go but the waterfowl are still coming and it's the end of December it's the 27th of December and there's still just thousands of birds in the sky and it's beautiful what a blessing I've seen two hawks this morning I've seen one Cooper's hawk and I've seen uh, one red shoulder the other morning uh, when I was driving through town I saw a kestrel so it's just it's a really cool place to be um, and people probably thought I was crazy for leaving Maryland and coming down here but you know my response is how could I not part of the thing that drives me in life is what's next what haven't I done yet what haven't I seen yet and maybe that's a Peter Pan approach to life but I've always tried to take opportunities as they come to me and I felt that this was a very wonderful opportunity to get to see a part of the country that I'd never seen before and I've fallen in love with it and I, I just absolutely love being here and this is home this is home now and I still have home in Maryland and I'm still gonna see family and friends but I have fallen in love with the natural state and uh, and I'm sure through the videos that you guys have seen this last year being down here and fishing and the outdoors and just experiencing new things please take that opportunity if you have it in life and you have any sort of interest in the great outdoors go see as much of it as you can the, the United States of America has so much to offer so much natural habitat you know and you just don't blink don't miss it go see it go go figure it out happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear G happy birthday to congratulations G if you're a hundred thousand
Finally. First fish of the day is a little pickerel. <laughs> Good hook set. <laughs> First chart of the day. All right. This just a little guy. We're going to let him get back. How are you today? Well, normally this time of year I'm just after trout or walleye if I go up to Bull Shoals, but I've been to this part of the Spring River countless times and I've, I've never figured it out. Oh. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure it out. I'm working a little jerk bait, um, just some uh, jig heads. Not, I, I usually don't use live bait, so that's it. Have you had luck here? I have in times past, not, not in the last few weeks. Yeah. Normally a uh, trout or crappie or? Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't figure they stopped down this far. Uh, what I catch some of that I really enjoy catching and I like is uh, drum or croaker or whatever they Oh call. yeah, the drum, freshwater drum. They got yeah. them in here. And uh, they're not, I mean, they fight like anything. And you clean them, and you get a five pound one, and you got about seven ounces of meat on it. A little sandwich. <laughs> because the, the, there's so much mud vein in them that... Yeah. But if you get them clean right, all of them would eat. Oh, no kidding. Right. Okay. And you normally use live bait here? Uh, I usually... Uh, what I use a lot is uh, crab. Okay. Uh, what about live crayfish? Crawfish? You ever use the crawfish too, or? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I've heard there's some decent stuff here. And I, I, I've heard there's some decent fish here. Oh, there is some decent fish. Yeah. And I, and I normally further up, I do real well with trout. So, and smallmouth. I've caught a lot of smallmouth out of the Spring River oh, as well. Well, you can, you catch quite a few smallmouth. Yeah. Oh, here. Okay. Uh, right, especially right down below the fall. Oh yeah. Even this time of year. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't catch legal. Yeah. You just catch 
catch. Yeah, it's for, for fun. fun. Yeah. For fun. Okay. Well, that's good to know. I've fished down below once or twice earlier this year, but I'll figure it out. It just takes time. Yep. <laughs> I keep coming back. <laughs> it's, you know, when I was up at, I started at Mammoth, I usually work my way down the Spring River if I have a day off. So I started up at Mammoth Spring and it's on, they're only putting out about 7 million gallons as opposed to usually 11 or 12 earlier in the year. So, yeah, this is the lowest I've seen it in quite some yeah, time. Yeah, it, uh, I mean, if I, I'm standing out here. Yeah, yeah, normally you're standing. <laughs> yeah, you're standing way back there. One thing, I just live up the road. Okay. Uh, not even a mile. Yeah. And uh, one thing I get after down here, and when you were standing on that, it reminded me of it, is uh, uh, snapping turtles. Yeah. And I'll catch carp or something like that and cut them up and put them on and, and get for snapping turtle and, and go after snapping turtle yep and i had a butte on here just uh a while back and he got right there i brought him all the way down and oh wow right there and he hung on the edge of that thing <laughs> and he was far enough out i couldn't reach him with my net yeah and uh and the water was quite light, but he just hung on the edge of that and finally broke my line. Well, and, shoot. Uh, and, and if it would have been like it is now, where you can get You could have got to it. <laughs> There's a very good chance that I won't catch another fish today. That's all right. Because the world is beautiful out here. And I'm grateful for every breath I take. <laughs> 